This is typically how women rate men in order from least important to most. This is why you often see unattractive men with attractive women. So I have been trying for years to try to figure out what women like in men and honestly I have failed all my adult life. So we're going to go through a couple things that a female is saying that she looks for in men. Go get a little feedback. Will you help us with this feedback? Yes, I can. So let's get the video started. Let's just see what women like in men. Let's go. Number six, attractiveness. Women can date and actually even marry men that they're not attracted to. Yes, we understand that attraction is important, but we also understand that it's not the end all be all of being with someone. I don't know about that one. So you're gonna tell me that you could be with the Fozzy mother. How much on a scale of one to 10 is attractiveness for women? I think it's pretty high. I would think so. I would not be able to be with somebody long term that I was not attracted to. What if they had a good heart? That might help them look a little more attractive, but it would, it, it would definitely help. Is the face weighted more than the body as far as attractiveness, or is the body weighted face more than the face for attractiveness? So if somebody had a nice face, but a, a dad bod. Your butter face? <laughs> yeah, or a nice body, but a butter face. I guess it depends on the person. A body is more attractive to me yeah, than a face. A face. Mm -hmm. Says a lot about why we're sitting right here right now then, huh? This is why you often see unattractive men with attractive women. And yes, you do see unattractive women with attractive men as well, but you won't see it near as much if he has other options. Women are visual, but nowhere near as much as men are. Number five is how big he is. Women don't care about this and nearly as much as men actually think we do. Actually, I might have to let him finish. I don't know what she's talking about right now. <laughs> So I don't know if she's talking about body type or how big. So let's keep going because I stopped the video too soon. Yeah. <laughs> so size and being good in bed are two totally different things. I was wrong. <laughs> I was thinking about bodies. And luckily for men, if you're lacking in either one of these areas, we can actually deal with either one. Women are more emotional creatures. Men are more physical creatures. That's why men complain that we talk too much and women complain that men want it too much. If you're a man and you're serving in other departments, this won't make or break too much for a woman. No. Is that true? Really? I think so. Serving in other departments, you're talking about like taking out the trash, washing the dishes. No, I was talking about size is not as important to females as men think it is. But it's important to men, so it should be important to females. Not everything that's important to you is important to us. <laughs> point, Size a point. doesn't matter when you're talking on the larger side, but I think it does matter <laughs> if you're talking on the smaller side. <laughs> it would be best to be in the Goldilocks. Is it the Goldilocks? Mm -hmm. Is it the Goldilocks? Just right. Yeah, just right. It's just yeah, just right. right. Number four is what you do for a living. So a woman will be interested in what you do for a living because it determines what type of lifestyle you're able to afford, which is ultimately what type of lifestyle she'll be able to live. What you do for a living lets a woman know a lot about your personality, capability, how successful you've become, where you're headed. I think I'll have disagree with that I don't know if what you do matters that much to women because I see a lot of guys that don't really have much going for themselves that actually attract women like flies so there are a lot of men that don't have a penny to their name yeah but they are I think it depends on the point you're at in your life too I mean if you're a little bit younger I would think that you want a guy who doesn't really have much going on so he can you guys could spend a lot of time together if you're older and trying to settle down, then yeah, you probably want somebody who has. I hear what you say, but I'll just say what I, I see what I see. I see even older women that <laughs> like the young guys or even the guys that are just a little bit younger than they are that don't really have anything going on for them. And I, you know, my theory has always been is that a guy that doesn't have anything going on has more time to spend time in bed with you <laughs> versus a guy that actually has stuff going on he's doesn't have as much time to spend with you in the bed and a lot of times when he gets done working he's tired and doesn't want to do it. so I don't know that that could be my theory but I don't know I think women have this one backwards I'm gonna call BS on this one I see women asking men what they do but I don't see them asking men what they do for relationship purposes. I, 
I see a lot of times them asking men what they do for monetary monetary purposes. No, I think you're right. It's more of a whiff them. I've never heard that whiff them before. Whiff them? What's in it for me? Number three is, are you good for her image? So do you make her look good? Are you good for her social status? Do you carry yourself well? This is where possessions you own come into play. What kind of car do you drive? What kind of shoes and clothes do you wear? What about your appearance? Are you well put together? A lot of men may think that their career will fall into this category, but it doesn't. So women can deal with a man who doesn't have a brag worthy job as long as the money from that job is providing her the kind of lifestyle that she wants. You know what I hear there? I hear drug dealer. <laughs> I hear fast money. I hear just a little bit of crime with my money. I don't care what status your job mm -hmm. is, as long as your I don't money. Care how you get your money, as long as it comes to me. <laughs> this is starting to sound worse as we go on. Women want to know what your status are. Do you make her look good? What kind of car you drive? What kind of clothes you wear? This all sounds very superficial. Men are kind of this shallow too, because this does sound shallow. Is this really what women think about, or? I think some do. Some or most. I don't know because I don't fall into that realm. So even when she was saying like, doesn't really matter like how you get your money as long as it's paying for my lifestyle. I was thinking like, why don't you work to pay for your lifestyle? <laughs> She's a traditional woman. She's not a modern woman. So she wants a traditional man, no matter how he's making his money. That seems a little risky to me. Just relying completely on a man. Yep. It could be. Unless you're doing everything right. Well, then if that was the case, then we'd have to go back to question number two because then a career would be very important to me. Well, maybe that's the problem. Maybe women are choosing wrong. Maybe because women <laughs> are so independent now is that their choices match their independence. It's like, I, I got all this stuff and I can do all this stuff for myself. And so it don't matter the quality of the man that I get. Maybe that's why all these what used to be called back in the 90s, uh, scrubs is what TLC used to have them. Now they're back in play. <laughs> Women are independent. I N D E P E N D E N T. You know what I, you heard this song? Yes. <laughs> So women don't brag about a man's career near as much as they brag about what that career has bought them. So ultimately the silent question here for her is, are you worthy of bragging to her family and friends about? Number two is the level of neediness and dependency. So women don't like a man that's dependent on her and that's not self-reliant. Independence is a major key in how women rate you. Then I'm missing some stuff. Is she talking around in circles here? Or maybe it was you. <laughs> Maybe it's maybe it's you that's confused me. Okay, so I don't care how you get your money as long as your money supports my lifestyle. I need to be able to brag to my family about you. And what did she just say here? Women don't like a man that's dependent on her and that's not self-reliant. Independence is a major key in how women rate you. So you need an independent man. So which means that you don't need him to be dependent on you at yeah. all. So is that true? Yes. <laughs> So is you this double speaker there because you said that okay so now I'm, now I'm understanding you said in the last one that that sounds a little risky to be dependent on the man for all your financial stuff and now you're saying that you don't want a man to be dependent on you so you won't you want the yeah I'll take care of my own stuff but don't depend on me to take care of you take care of your own stuff but we just talked about it's scrubs are in. It's 50-50, but we just talked about scrubs are in. Not for me, they're not. <laughs> I don't know if 50-50 works. It might be like 70-30, 80-20. Who pulls the higher? Kind of like a, like my meat. Eight. Who pulls the higher? I mean, I don't know. It just depends on who who's making the most in the relationship. You have some women that make more than men. I'm just saying, yeah. it's not fair. Like if you were working and I was working, and even if you made more than me, if you were paying all the bills and I was just taking my paycheck on shop and getting my nails done, like. That wouldn't be fair. It used to be called chivalry. <laughs> I'm actually okay with that. No, I, I'll have to rearrange my budget then. Wait, you confused me again. What? Independence lets her know that no matter what, you're gonna be okay and that you don't need her. You want her. And golden number one is personality and traits. How strong are your fatherly traits? How do you deal with stress? Do you snap or do you push through? Okay, so I'm gonna get probably like a D on all these. Better than the F you would have got three <laughs> years ago. <laughs> I don't snap all the time. So much anymore. But I had a lot of stuff to be snapping about at the time. <laughs> Emotional stability in a man is important. Mm -hmm. 
And why is it? I just don't think it's an attractive trait for somebody to be unemotionally stable. What does unemotionally stable mean? Like, it can mean all different things. Somebody who's just like kind of, you can't talk to, they just, they lose it fast. Um, like no patience. That's a lot of women too. It is. How trustworthy are you? Are you a liar? Are you sneaky? Are you attentive to her needs? Are you reliable? Do you make her feel emotionally secure? Y'all, women are suckers for how you make them feel. If you serve in this area, all other areas will be minute. All other areas will be that less important. I hear what she's saying, but there's a lot of guys out there that have a lot of great personalities that get overlooked. I will say though, for most women, if you treat her good and show her, give her attention and make her feel like she's top on your priorities, that, she's right. I, I feel like other things can be overlooked. Pretty decent video. I do think she has some valid points. And so, I don't know, but it's always interesting to hear from a female's point of view as far as what they want. A lot of guys think that we know what females want. I think that we can be kind of a little off sometimes, but I can also say, just for my feeling, is that females will say what they want sometimes, but they won't actually always go after what they want. Sometimes they'll go after the opposite of what they say they want. Saying what you want and actually knowing what you want sometimes for females and for guys can be a little different. Say what you mean, mean what you say. That's what we like to say, but that's not always correct. <laughs>